Okay, it's uh, 9.01, so let's get started. Um, most people look like they've wandered in. So as I said, welcome to Bellevue, Washington for Nanog 40. No, not Toronto, uh, but I'm still me. <laughs> Um, first, and uh, throughout the meeting, we need to give a big uh, round of thanks to our host, XKL. Um, so, <laughs> as I'm sure you've heard me say over and over again by now, uh, without a host, none of this could have happened. We wouldn't have a place to meet. We wouldn't have network connectivity. You wouldn't have any power at your seats. Um, we wouldn't have a meeting, basically. So, uh, big thanks to XKL. And uh, if you See folks, in fact, if anybody from XKL is here, could you uh, stand up and wave at us? Or probably, at, oh, there's one back there, a couple. Okay, good. <laughs> a bunch of other contributors um, in uh, varying roles. Uh, I'm not going to read them all because it would take all day, but uh, people uh, providing connectivity, routers, uh, just uh, general grunt work. Um, all sorts of things. Uh, without these people, we wouldn't have much of a meeting either. So thank you to all of you. Um, we have four break sponsors this time. So the food that you had out there, this wonderful breakfast, um, without the break sponsors, we wouldn't be seeing uh, much in the way food out there. So thank you to those guys. Um, and uh, please support the break sponsors. Uh, during the breaks, they'll sometimes be out there with little booths or tables so you can go talk to them. Um, and, of course, the big thing is the beer and gear. Uh, tonight, 5.30 to 7.30, it's going to be right outside uh, in the foyer there. Um, just counting this, looks like we have nine exhibitors tonight, so make sure you support them uh, while you're drinking our fine beer and wine and eating our good food. Uh, I'd like to give big thanks to the program committee, um, 16 people plus myself. Uh, did a lot of hard work over the last few months putting this program together. Uh, we hope that you'll enjoy it. And if you like it or if you don't like it, please uh, talk to one of us or all of us or whatever and let us know what you think and how we can make things better. A um, couple receptions. I already mentioned the beer and gear right out there. Uh, there's also going to be a couple late evening receptions uh, hosted by Microsoft at Parlor Billiards, which I guess is across the way there. Um, there's a little flyer out in the registration area. You can find out about it. Um, that's carefully scheduled so after all the main events are over, after the beer and gear and after the community meeting tomorrow, um, you can uh, go and eat and party some more, I suppose. Uh, no agenda changes so far, so what's on your printed schedule is still correct. Um, remote participation, I have no idea if this is still true, <laughs> but it probably is. A uh, couple reminders. Network security is the big one, of course. Uh, this is a public wireless network, which means everybody can see what you're sending. So please try not to use clear text passwords unless you want people to uh, hack into your accounts. Do use end-to-end -end encryption, um, SSH, VPN tunnels, whatever. Uh, PGP key signing BOF is, uh, as usual, going to be during the breaks, this time during the morning breaks in one of the rooms over to the side there. Um, beer and gear reception I already mentioned. Uh, another thing that I haven't mentioned yet is we have a couple of open seating rooms down the hallway that way. Um, and if you go even beyond those, there's a little patio area that's been set up for us to use uh, with some tables. So you can sit out there and uh, enjoy the sunshine when you're not in here, of course, in the meeting. Uh, if you wonder why some of us have funny colored badges, um, this is why. Uh, blue badges for steering committee members, yellow badges for program committee members, red badges for the mailing list committee members, of which unfortunately we only have one here today, this time, but you'll be hearing from him at the community meeting tomorrow night. Um, then there's me, uh, mine is green, which means that I'm blue plus yellow together. Um, th there's also dots um, on people's badges, uh, green for people who want to organized peering, black for people who are interested in network security, and red for people who like to send PGP keys during this boss I just told you about. Lightning Talks. This is a big hit um, since we started it about a year ago. Um, we're going to do six 10-minute sessions again this time, three of them tomorrow, three of them on Wednesday. Uh, the only real criterion is that it has to be on topic for Nanog. Um, in other words, it has to be technical. Uh, Sign-ups are open. Um, URLs here. There's a link also from the main Nanog page. Um, it says that the deadline is 3 p.m. Tuesday, but if you want to be in tomorrow's session, uh, the deadline is 3 p.m. today. Um, if you're not selected for today, you'll go back in the pool again. I mean, if you're not selected for tomorrow, you'll go back in the pool again for Wednesday. So earlier is better. Um, once the 
deadline's passed, the PC will choose uh, our favorite three for tomorrow and then again our favorite three for Wednesday. And you'll, uh, lucky winners will get to present. Um, ten minutes means ten minutes. At the end of ten minutes, we yank you off the stage physically if necessary. Uh, informal buffs, I actually forgot to check about this. Um, we've done this in the past where we have rooms available for people to sit down and uh, talk about stuff. Um, if you uh, want to reserve a room for that, uh, contact one of us and we'll figure out something. Um, there is an Aaron uh, booth out in the registration area. Again, this is old information, so I don't know if the times are exactly right. But if you want to talk to Aaron about registration issues or membership issues, uh, go visit them. Or even if you don't, just go and say hi. Um, not only are they here to help you, but they're here supporting our meeting uh, with a lot of funding to make the uh, AV stuff and the webcast stuff happen. And that's it for me. So now I'm going to turn the mic over to Mike O'Brien from XKL. Okay, hi, I'm Mike O'Brien. I'm uh, working for XKL, your host here today. And welcome to Bellevue. Uh, Bellevue, if you're not from around here, is a rapidly growing suburb of Seattle. Right across the lake to the west is the big city. Bellevue is about 31 square miles, just under 120,000 uh, population wise. And uh, if you notice when you come in, it's, it's growing like crazy. I mean, if uh, when you drove in from the airport or drove in this morning, if you didn't see a crane, you weren't looking up. Uh, at, at one point, uh, I think the figure was almost half of the cranes uh, west of the Mississippi, the, the big tower cranes, were in Bellevue, which is pretty wild for a city this size. Uh, and down here, this URL, it's also linked to on the uh, Nanog page, I think, as the community forum. Uh, it's got great information on the, the surrounding area, and if you find something good, you know, feel free to throw it on there. It'll really help people out. Uh, this is a late night paint exercise, if you can see it on the screen. <laughs> This O here is me, big blob, you. Uh, if you look out this side of the ballroom, if you go out these doors and then go that way, there's a great door straight into uh, Lincoln Square, which then has a bridge to uh, Bellevue Square. And those are two of the main places to go get food, uh, do anything around here. So it's a good way to get right into the heart of the city. Uh, who are we? XKL, we're a network equipment vendor uh, located down the street in Redmond, right near a uh, fairly large software company you may have heard of, which takes up most of Redmond. Uh, we're owned by Cisco Systems co-founder Len Bozak, and Len's goals with all of our stuff is to create reliable, uh, easy to use and deploy, and economical systems. We're basically trying to bring gobs of bandwidth for cheap. Uh, the DXM product is actually providing optical transport in the Nanog 40 network. We have a room over there where you can see that. Uh, here's a picture of the network. Uh, it's actually two different physical locations. Upper left is the Seattle area, and uh, lower right is the Bellevue Hotel here. And uh, they're connected by some Questark fiber. So starting with the upper left, we have 10 giggy handoffs, one from NTT and one from Mzima, and they're multiplexed uh, via DWDM on our DXMH machines. Uh, those are then carried over the Paradox fiber from Quest uh, between uh, Seattle and here, this hotel where they're demultiplexed and shot into a Procket 8801. And uh, I'm going to do some thanks later, but I'd like to thank uh, Dino Farinacci right now for helping us get comfortable with, with using that Procket 8801 uh, in the network. So thanks, Dino. <laughs> After the Procket, it goes into uh, two different networks, the standard Nanog wireless and video network, and then also a gigabit wired network. At each of these four front tables here, we have uh, switches right under the skirt uh, in the middle of the uh, of the section, and they're all gigabit copper switches, so you can get a pretty sweet connection if you sit up there or run a really long cable. <laughs> okay, many, many thanks. Uh, lots of people to thank. I will try to go through them quickly, and if I forget somebody, uh, yell at me or hold a grudge, but I prefer you yell. Aaron Quinn from Quest uh, really made the dark fiber happen, and Randy Bush and the SC uh, started the contact and introduction, so thanks to all of them. Andrew Ozell from Enzima for providing uh, the first 10 gig of transit, and Brian Faust and his team from NTT America for uh, the same thing, 10 gig of transit. 
There's a company called Optic Fusion here in the local area. It's a data center provider, and they let us use their space in the West End for putting our optical gear and also did some, uh, some great last mile fiber work in both areas. So thank you, Eric Stockwell from Optic Fusion. Uh, the XKL network and setup team last for this slide, but not least, uh, they were here until late, late, late last night doing some, some power and network setup. So uh, thanks to them, Bryce, Shane, Nathan, Scott, Eric, and Kelly, among others. Even more thanks, Tony Capella, uh, when we got this crazy idea to do this super high-speed nano network, he was a, a great sounding board. So Tony, thanks for that. Worked through us from the beginning to the, uh, well, right now. And also Rodney Jaffe, the Nanog hosting king, who has hosted Nanog more than anyone ever will. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he was great. Uh, when we first decided to look into doing this, he, he graciously gave us a bit of his time to uh, work through what he's been through, gave us some tips. And uh, honestly, we might not be here today if he didn't help us out. So Rodney, thank you very, very, very much. And I think everyone might say this, but it's true. Merit makes hosting easy. They're really, really good at this. Uh, everyone gets a little nervous. I got a little nervous before it, but they, they show up and, and they lay everything down and they've done this so many times, so 39 before this to be exact. Uh, so Merit, thank you very much. I would encourage each and every one of you to look into hosting because uh, you know it's, it's great for the community. You get your name up there and it's, it's really fun and Merit makes it easy. So. The Merit people on site, Larry, Betty, David, Sal, Don, Rick, Jason, and Carol, and everyone back in Ann Arbor, thank you all very much. And some final notes. Uh, as of 6.13 a.m. today, we had 402 attendees. All beer and gear and break sponsorships have been sold out. And uh, just a note, XKL employees were uh, pretty much all from around here. So if you have any questions about the area, uh, feel free to ask any of us. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to ask any of us, and we'll try to help you out. So uh, enjoy Nanog 40, and here's Steve. Thank you.